Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my React JS course. In this video, we will see some of the options that are available in the React Router. Something like Browser Router and the Hash Router. We will try to see the difference between this one. So what is this Browser Router and the Hash Router? If you try to see here, we are using this Browser Router, right? So what is this Browser Router? Is Browser Router is nothing but what we can see tell is the forming, the framing of the URL. Okay, the framing of the URL. So right now, if you try to see here, so right now if you refresh this page okay so we are we are not having this url so you will be having this like this localhost column 3000 if i try to keep slash about <coughs> so you are able to see the about page also okay so how this url framing is uh, able to recognize is using the browser router so browser router will allow us to make a well formed url okay so if for uh, other type of scenarios will be there somewhat uh, what we can say is if you don't if you don't have access to the server side if you don't want to change any server side routing means server side configuration if you don't want to change means we will be using another type that is nothing but the hash router so let's import this hash router hash router so this hash router here if you add this hash router okay so you will be having this hash router what this hash router will do is so it will add you a hash be before the base URL. So you will be having the base URL. So it will add a hash after the after the base URL. So here you will be able to see this hash. For this one, server side uh, configuration is not needed. So if you go here, about you can keep. Okay. So about will work. So this is the browser router and the hash router. So uh, in addition to this browser router and hash router, you will be having some additional parameters also, which is available for this browser router, browser router and the hash router. For example, if you try to see here, first one is the base name. What is this base name is? If you try to see here, base name slash calendar. So wherever you are using these all the, uh, whatever what we can say, the internal URLs. So slash, slash about slash you are having, right? So if I change it to browser router here, first let's, let's try to see this browser router. If you use this base name, okay, is equal to slash leela web dev. So all the URLs will be rooted from this leela web dev, okay, slash leela web dev slash about like this it will be so if you try to see this url so here if i try to change this one if you write slash leela web dev then also this home page will work okay so we are able to get this home page so about page means slash about so up to here this one will become the base url for us okay so this is how we will be using this base name and another one what we can say is force refresh bool force refresh bool what is this one is if you keep it force refresh as a, bool, uh, as a boolean whenever we are navigating from one route to another means so automatically the page will refresh instead of having the single page application type of thing you will be having a page refresh okay let's just like the server page how we will be refreshing for the multi pages like this you will be making the force refresh and these are all uh, uh, another thing so children also is another thing let's try to we'll try to see it of the words so these are the main things so if you go to the hash router so hash router scenario is also the same thing we are having you will be having one extra extra par, uh, parameter that is nothing but a hashtag hash type what is this hash type is for example if i change it to hash router okay hash router okay this one we change it to hash router and let's try to remove this base here so if you try to keep hash type here so you can keep uh, you will be having three types things slash no slash and also another one is the bang bang operator so if you try to see here hash bang slash no slash and hash bang slash means it will add a slash at the end of the hash thing hashtag if you keep no slash it will not add a slash at the end of the hash for example if i keep <coughs> no slash okay so default will be the slash so here you will be you will be seeing if you if i keep if i try to refresh this one okay so you will be having only hash at the end of the url so for example if i refresh this one so let me try to save okay hash router and here if i go to um, hash about if i click on hash about you will be able to see only the hash c here okay so, slash operator will not be there so this is the use of this hash tab hash type and also these are the these are the things so here if you try to see in the route so if i try to see here for example here if i try to see the routing thing so here we are we have went into the about but here home page is also visible so why because this home page is also visible is if you go here 
the route is matching route path is equal to slash means it is loading the home page if the route is equal to slash about means it is loading it is loading the about page so here in this slash about the slash is also matching in this slash about so that is the reason home page is also match home page is also loading so in this slash so if you are having a trailing hash means home page is also will be loaded so it will take not it will not take the exact match it if it is if it is present in the subset of this match also the route will be loaded if you want to load this one with an exact means you need to keep extra attribute there is nothing but the exact okay if you keep exact here so what it will try to do is if i try to refresh this one see here now i am able to see only the about page okay so if i go to here like this so now you will be able to see the home page okay so this is about the exact thing so this is the different types of routers present in the react.js okay hope you understood about this browser router and the hash router so browser router for the well-formed urls you will be using this one and the hash router where we will be doing is so if you don't have a server configuration if you don't have access to the server configuration then we will be using the hash router and the route path also here what we will be doing is if you want to have the exact parameter exact match for the route you will be using this exact okay so in the next video we will try to see more about this routing thing if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you